Well, we'll try that again. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Steve Collins coming to you from San Antonio, Texas. The second most powerful, passionate, and purposeful coach and speaker in the world. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. Save the drama for your mama. Save the drama for your mama. Come on, man. Y'all know what I mean by that, right? Today, I'm going to talk to you about the difference between being a thermostat and a thermometer. Economically, spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally. What does it mean to be a thermostat or a thermometer? For those of you that have a basic knowledge of HVACs or air conditioning, heating and cooling systems, a thermostat is a regulator that sets the temperature in a particular house or business. A thermometer is a gauge which determines and tells you what exactly that temperature is. Now the difference between a thermostat and a thermometer is that a thermometer tells you where you're at. A thermostat doesn't let you go above or below the set temperature. If it's set at 70 and the temperature outside goes to 60, the heater will kick on to bring you to 70. If it's set to 70 and it's 100 outside, the AC will kick on to bring the temperature to 70. The thermometer is an indication to the thermostat of non-regulation or non, in the human body, what might be considered homeostasis, okay? So I use that as a principle and a metaphor to help you understand that your ability to choose and your ability to decide and your ability to execute massive action regardless of how you feel, which by the way is a conversation I was having with a dear friend this morning, the conversation was this, you know, if we were committed to do the things we're committed to based on how we feel, we'd be sitting in bed, sucking our thumbs, rolling the covers up over our head. I'm grateful that God's given us the grace to do what we need to do regardless of how we feel because of our commitment to the end result and our belief in the daily execution of those simple activities which compounded together over time will build the momentum creating a habit allowing us to le uh, use less and less energy as we make the decisions moving towards those actions or activities. That was a whole lot I just said there. I hope you got all that. So here's the story, Morning Glory. You have a financial thermostat and you just don't know it. You have an emotional thermostat and you just don't know it. You have a spiritual thermostat and you just don't know it. You have a mental thermostat and you just don't know it. You have a physical thermostat and you just don't know it. You didn't know, but now you know. And I'm excited because now that you know, you can begin to make changes if you so desire. So here's the difference in each area. A financial thermostat says, like when a realtor comes into a business and you have a conversation about what their income is, well, I want to make 100 grand. Fantastic. Well, if you made 90, would you? Be? Well, yeah, I'd be good. Well, if you made 80, would you be happy? Well, yeah, I'd be happy. Well, if you made 70, would you be happy? Well, yeah, I would. Okay, well, let's just say you struggled and you made 60. But yeah, would you make 50? Yeah, would you make 40? Yeah, would you make 30? Would you make 20? 20? No way. There's no way. There's no way I would make less than 20. No way. No way. No way. We just revealed that person's financial thermostat. 100 was the wish, the desire, the goal, but that wasn't the thermostat. And the challenge is for most people who have learned to operate at a certain economic level, when you begin to break through that, your internal mental thermostat will self-sabotage and create activities and behaviors that will hinder you from advancing beyond that if your thought life and commitments and declarations and proclamations and affirmations have not disciplined your mind to prepare for that next level and if you do not have relationships at that next level who can handle the type of conversations that come along with that type of socioeconomic increase self-sabotage takes place and the person limits and regulates where they are same thing in a relationship it's the reason why when most people get sober in an addictive relationship by going to NA or AA 
many times even though that individual is now free and no longer addicted the spouse in that relationship and them end up divorcing because there's been a dynamic of relationship that's gone on throughout that has hindered or enabled that individual to perpetuate certain behavior and there's a certain comfort level it's a thermostat a financial thermostat an emotional thermostat a mental thermostat a spiritual thermostat as someone is exposed to more spiritual material they can become very uncomfortable and shrink back and say no i don't want to talk about that that's kind of scary or if they enter into a backsliding season of sin if you will or making the same mistakes over and over again they know there's a point well no 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 man i can't go back to that i got to go up to here so are you aware that you have the control to your thermostat are you aware that you can adjust the thermostat? You see, most people that live a victim life are a thermometer. Whatever's going on around them is regulating that what's happening to them. They go up, they go down. 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 They're the thermometer. External circumstances, external conversations, thoughts that are not captured and taken captive and replaced begin to take them to and fro like a wave on the ocean going side to side and back and forth with no real direction and wondering why why don't things get better for me well because you are being a thermometer not a thermostat so how do you become the thermostat you choose intentionally what thoughts you're going to agree with, what affirmations you're going to speak, what declarations you're going to declare, and where you're going to set your mind and your goals, and you discover the difference between interest and commitment. When it was the farmer's birthday, the pig and the chicken got together and said, let's make him breakfast. They said, that's a great idea. The chicken said, I'll supply the eggs, and the pig said, I'll supply the bacon. The chicken was interested, and the pig was committed. Are you committed? Commitment lasts far after the euphoria endorphins of making the decision disappears. So are you a thermostat or are you a thermometer? And are you aware that you can choose? Have a great day, guys.